Wembley's Empire Stadium is certainly a very powerful magnet on the great day. The day before, with Lady Elvin present, tribute was paid to the man who created the famous sports centre when Lord Citrine, a great friend of the late Sir Arthur Elvin, unveiled a memorial bust overlooking the approach to the stadium. A hundred thousand or so were there, and they fairly cheered Matt Busby, who had recovered sufficiently to be present, as his Manchester United men came out beside their white-shirted opponents, Bolton Wanderers. The Queen had not got over her cold, but Prince Philip was there to meet the teams, Bolton first. Now United are presented to His Royal Highness. Bobby Charlton sets the ball rolling and the match of the season is underway. Bolton are soon driving down the left wing. They force a corner. Less than three minutes have passed when Brian Edwards puts in a perfect cross and Nat Lofthouse does the rest. It's a goal! A quick one like that is surely the answer to any cup final team's prayer. But United react at once. They're going very strong. But Bolton's experienced quick tackling defence is keeping them out. It's reported that the Bolton players took tranquilizers. Looked as if she could do with one too. Manchester's forward line attack again, and a slowed down camera shows the brilliance of a Hopkinson save. But nothing shakes this chap. Every spectator at Wembley must now have looked forward to more thrills in the second half. After Bolton had kicked off, United were soon away at full speed in search of the equaliser. And after eight minutes' play, a fizzer from Charlton comes back off the post into Hopkinson's arms. A narrow shave for Bolton. But two minutes later, they were attacking. Then a hard shot from Stevens is held by Greg, and Lofthouse puts him and the ball into the net. <laughs> Greg's obviously hurt. Watch it now in slow motion. In comes the shot, but before Greg can get his balance and turn round to clear, Lofthouse charges in. <laughs> Harry Greg is down, and the players gather round while the trainer works on him. Happily, he's not badly hurt. After a few minutes, the match gets going again, with Bolton now two up. Greg's evidently all right and being kept pretty busy, too. Well, that's almost the end of the story, for although there was plenty of good football, there was no more scoring. Bolton Wanderers had certainly earned congratulations for their fourth Wembley win, while Manchester United deserve the highest praise for reaching Wembley against all odds. As for Nat Lofthouse, he'd led his men to victory, he'd scored the goals, and now he received the cup from Prince Philip. Yes, Nat's dreams had certainly come true. Bolton's dressing room and Matt Busby, like the sportsman he is, comes to offer his congratulations. For the Wanderers, the end of the story is champagne. Well shaken before taken, but my word, it's good medicine.